Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Wai, gastroenterologist and hepatologist from Mang Zubat Novena Hospital and Fair Park Hospital. Today, I want to answer a very common question the patient asked me. Patients say, Dr. Wai, I have hepatitis B. I read on Google, Dr. Google, that there are actually medications approved by the FDA to treat hepatitis B. But why is it that you and my previous doctor never gave me hepatitis B medication? Is it because you hide something from me? You want to hear the answer? Keep on listening. So hepatitis B is a common problem. Uh, the happy virus can live in the liver, can spill into the blood, they can increase the risk of liver cirrhosis uh, and liver cancer. So the, the certain patients have a higher risk of progression. Uh, overweight people, alcoholic drinker, smoker, family history of liver cancer, and also high liver enzymes, and also high viral load, all these risk factors will increase the risk that a patient get uh, complications. Uh, one very large scale Taiwanese study that followed about 10,000 Taiwanese happy carrier without treatment, they followed there for about 10 years on average, and at the end of the 10 years, they calculate the risk of complications. They find that on average, about 0.5% develop cancer every year, and about 0.5 to 1% develop liver cirrhosis every year, among all the happy carrier. And one of the important predictors for complications is actually the happy viral load. This study, they stratified different baseline viral load, and they found that if the patient's happy marker is less than 2,000 IU per mil, then the risk of complication is at the lowest. And after that, the more virus they have, the higher the risk of complication. For that matter, if a patient had a viral load less than 2,000 IU per mil, we tell the patient your risk of complication is very low. Dropping the virus further low from 2,000 IU per mil to even lower than that may not increase your risk of, uh, may not increase your protection. But if a patient has a very high viral load, 200,000, 2 million, or even some of my patients, 2 billion viruses IU per mil, the risk of complication is higher. Then there's another study that showed that when we can drop the viruses level, we can reduce the risk of complication in the long run. So for that matter, if a patient has hepatitis B and the viral load is very high, we define as more than 2,000 to 20,000 IU per mil, we know that the risk of complication is high, we know that when we drop the viral load, the risk of complication is low, so we start treatment. So if your viral load is very low, less than 2,000 IU per mil, your liver doctor, your family doctor are unlikely to start your treatment because you don't need it, okay? And the AASLD and the ESO, two authoritative liver organizations based in America and Europe, both recommend that people having liver uh, viral load, happy viral load below 2,000 IU per mil, they don't benefit from uh, a happy treatment, so you don't need to treat them. Just follow them for complication. So if you have a low viral load, you don't need medication. But there's some exception. A happy patient with a low viral load, if they do develop liver cancer, then we want to drop the viral load to the lower. So happy carrier having liver cancer or liver cirrhosis, we would treat them to drop the virus level to an undetectable level. Or happy carrier, even if they have a low viral load, if they require chemotherapy for other cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, that are common, uh, the chemotherapy may affect the immune system and the patient viral load may shoot up and cause problem. So happy carrier, even if they low viral load, if they are undergoing chemotherapy, we still want to give them treatment to treat them. And of course, uh, when a happy carrier becomes pregnant, we will check the viral load to make sure that the viral load remains low during the pregnancy, that they don't need any treatment. So to sum up, a happy carrier have a low viral load, we generally don't treat them. A happy carrier have a low viral load that need chemotherapy, or they develop liver cancer, we will however treat them with antiviral treatment. But why are we so stingy about happy treatment? What's the problem? The two problems with happy treatment. The first is that it is not cheap. Uh, one month it costs about $300 per month. And we're not talking about one ticket for one month and stop. We're talking about taking a happy treatment for a long time. Most of the happy treatment need to be taken for a long time for many years. I told my patient, once I start your happy treatment, if I start, your viral load will drop. But when I stop, your viral load will bounce back to a high level at the baseline. So most of my patients will need to take the medicine for about three years or more. So $350 a month times three years is a lot of money. 
So if you need happy treatment, I will counsel you about the cost, counsel you about the need to take for three months, so for, for sorry, for three years, and then we talk about treatment. So happy treatment, if you don't need it, the best is not to take the medicine. And if you are a happy carrier and you notice that your doctor never offer you a happy treatment, most likely your liver is doing well, your bladder is low, and you should congratulate yourself. Don't blame your doctor for not giving you treatment. To sum up, most happy carrier don't need happy treatment. There's viral antiviral therapy available to drop the viral load to reduce risk of complication. But if your viral load is already very low, less than 2,000 IU per meal, we cannot drop your risk of complications further, so you don't need treatment. This is Dr. Desmond White, gastroenterologist and hepatologist. Thank you.